For the rest of your life, when you hear the word Chevron, I'm going to want you to think about this. At the southern end of Madagascar, lie four enormous wedge-shaped deposits called chevrons that are composed of material from the ocean floor. Each covers twice the area of Manhattan with sediment as deep as the Chrysler building is high. On close inspection, the chevron deposits contain deep ocean microfossils that are fused, fused with a medley of metals typically formed by cosmic impacts. And all of them point in the same direction toward the middle of the Indian Ocean where a newly discovered crater 18 miles in diameter lies 12,500 feet below the surface. The explanation is obvious to some scientists. A large asteroid or comet, the kind that could kill a quarter of the world's population, smashed into the Indian Ocean 4,800 years ago, producing a tsunami 600 feet high, about 13 times as big as the tsunami that inundated Indonesia nearly two years ago. The wave carried the huge deposits of sediment to land. Now it's been redated, and it looks like it's closer to 7,000 years ago when the impact occurred. But then you have this entrenched worldview that's now wrapped up with political agendas and economic agendas and all of that that has no use for a complete overhaul of our models of prehistory.